ripping the long head off the bone. This scar comes all the way around here. Boom, around there. And then we're gonna, there might be some scar tissue down the middle of the two heads. So we're gonna brush into that as well. That is my fault. Ooh, that's naughty. <laughs> so many bite. emotions. A... There you go. Oh. oh, what was that? Okay, right, there There's the there. tendon, look at that. So we split it up. So we get oh. Oh. Sunday energy. Bolton warrior hair going on. Just to whip it round. <laughs> it's like lightning bolts here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're here and we're back. It is another Worst Pain episode. And to be fair, okay, you got this man to thank for this. Because mm. I stood him up, not once, but twice. I had so much going on. Thanks. I'm here. <laughs> we're running to the phone going, I owe Mitch a cancellation fee. Cancellation fees, many beers, and a meal out. So today's an interesting one, and it's one I've actually been looking forward to, and we mentioned it at the end of the last video. If you haven't watched that already, make sure to do so. There'll be a little tab that pops mm. up here, but also check out the links at the end of the video or in the description and check out the playlist for the worst pain, which you'll notice many people are now trying to copy. <laughs> You've been going for a while now. Been for a while. You know, content is king, and I think you'll find this is the best series <laughs> of the internet. This is the best series on the internet regarding this because not only do we show you the befores and afters, but we give you the information as to how this can be affecting you, why it's going to be affecting you, and how you can fix it. That's home for free, so just stay tuned because at the end, <laughs> rehab exercises. <laughs> rehab. Yeah. Free rehab exercises at the end of every video with Mitchell himself. Mm -hmm. So. So you're going to need a quick backstory for today, and the backstory is of... Shibushi! Yeah, that's right. I'm making Shibushi a thing. Shibushi! This big old scar that I've got running from the middle of the forearm up to here. This is a result of me ripping the long head of the bicep, mm. which is the outer head of the bicep, completely off the bone. Tendon shippinged up here. This isn't something that's a progressive overload that's occurred. This was a lot of bad things all coming together at the perfect time. Which sounds wrong, I know. This is like one in a hundred thousand people do this. And mine was off a punch from boxing, which can also happen when you see people doing deadlifts, starting with bent arms, and all of a sudden lifting and going straight arms. And they deload the muscle and put it onto the tendon, tendon and go pop. Technique is king. Mm. Ah. Technique, stuff like this can happen. So they had to go in, cut me open, pull the tendon all the way back down, drill two holes in the bone. There's a little plate they put on the back here, stick it open here, stitch it to that plate, that sits behind, so they've pushed, pulled the tendons through the new holes, the bone then heals around the tendons, mm -hmm. and then it reattaches. Now I have done a full protocol of this of how I have healed this in only around about 15 weeks when they told me it was gonna be six to 12 months before I'd be back lifting properly again. And I was back in the gym within seven weeks. It's all within the video, inc mm -hmm. including my complete supplement protocol and everything else that I used to do it. And you can use this across the board for any injury that you'll sustain and it will help get you back in the gym faster. So check that video out. The link will be here in a little tab and in the description below. Movement is medicine. Their timelines, timelines? Here's a line in time. What science says, what studies say, and also knowing your own limitations and knowing your own body is key. If you wrap all this up in one little package and put them together, then you can often outwork what they say can't be done. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, I am left with this big old scar. So, okay. what's the likely things that we're gonna have going on in here? So we've had trauma to this area, okay? So what's gonna happen is, you're gonna get a lot of scar tissue form around it. So you see this look, see how thin it is? So fat that is now. So what is that? Okay, you've got a lot of scar tissue build up around here. The one, yes, we, we will lose mobility in that area. Mm -hmm. It will be tight. And so we have to promote blood flow to this area, break down the scar tissue and remobilize it. See that fat scar tissue? How it goes nice and then fat. That is my fault. So now the surgeon did say I have this tendency for hypo scarring, which means my body overcompensates with scar tissue. There was a point where this was quite raised and I may or may not have started gunning my arm when that tissue was quite fresh. Yeah. I may or may not have been watching Guardians of the Galaxy, and I may or may not forgot that I was just keeping it on one spot, and I may or may not have caused that fresh tissue to blister yeah. and cause a big fat scar okay. tissue bit. So normal tissues like this, what happens with scar tissue is it comes back all messed up like this. That's why it looks different, it feels different. It may not necessarily be under the scar here, it can be within the bicep as well. So we need to now break it all down and massage it. So we're gonna massage the shit out of this bicep, massage the hell out of this, loosen off. I'm already sweating. Look, <laughs> Luckily, sweat. Yeah, let's Before, get and then see what's up. Yeah, we'll, we'll test mobility and go from there. Okay, so 
Okay, let's do a comparison. Boom. Boom. Shaka. <laughs> Boom. There's not a huge amount of difference. The reason being, I healed this quick. If you went on holiday for two months, you wouldn't lose all of your muscle. It took me seven weeks to get back into active work, so obviously the muscle didn't deteriorate yeah, too much. Yeah. But if you look at the outside peak on this one, so look at the peak on this one. Just this bit. Yeah, See that? Yeah. Look at it! You're in the same camera angle. Are you there ready? Look. It's just not quite as peaky on that bit, but I have rehabbed it. It's better than it was. This was a little bit flatter here, and the peak is starting to come back. But short head, long head. Long head popped off. So the short head didn't go anywhere. Right, we're going to have a quick look at mobility so you can test yourselves with this at home. If you've got tightness here, watch this. So you can move his fingers. So obviously these were touched down into here. So a good one that you can do, you can test, is the mobility in the wrist. Okay? So, any tightness when I do this? A little bit there, yeah, and it's just, just it's pulling there, it's not tight yeah, and painful. Cool. Both ways, the yeah, that, mobility. that's worse. Yeah. you push it. Any pain? Uh, no, it just feels like that doesn't really want to do that. But I worked heavily on supination, oh, yeah, whilst pronation, I was rotation. hurt. So, oh, I see. Yeah, see, because yeah. they want to keep you locked and in position. Yeah, and, and I was like, well, even. that's never good. So yeah. I was constantly, every day, and then holding, and holding, so. Oh, brilliant. But that's a good one as well for tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. So you've got to think golfer's elbow. So we, you know, like here, all right, we'll come from doing this. So if he pushes against me now, if there's pain, it's a positive yeah. test uh, of golfer's elbow. We have tennis elbow. So now flip over and then push up. See that muscle there turns on, okay? This gets overused. Golfers, tennis. Bench pressing, pain here. And you get pain here from a lot of pulling activities. These two here get super tight. And obviously you can check with the wrists. Now you're gonna flip over for me like this. Rotate. Yeah, and rotate around. So you can get pain here. Yeah. Now do the opposite, now come back around, and you can get pain here as well. Yeah. Okay. Any pain up in here, you can do a nice massage on the forearm, which can relieve these up here. So now we just compare. See it's quite mo I was just feeling it there's not much restriction going on. Then coming around. See that? Yeah. Wow, that's so much more mobile than this side here. That folds right over yeah. as that stops there. And he's got a he's got, he's got a plate here, have you? A little but little <laughs> <laughs> the scar tissue is probably causing a lot of restriction in here and up in here. Take my good hand. <laughs> so let's do the test. Just press up for me. Nothing in that. Okay, gonna come up. Any pain here? No. Okay. Another good one as well. It's got this for me. In case his finger here, push up. Watch here. Push up. Any pain? No. Brilliant. And then here, push up. Any pain here? No. Brilliant, good. So he's got negative test for golfers and tennis elbow. But the work we'll be doing will be relevant to golfers and tennis yes. elbow as well. Okay, yeah. So I'll show you stretches at the end. Shooter. <laughs> right, let's crack on with the treatment. The scar comes all the way around here. Boom, around there. And then we're gonna, there might be some scar tissue down the middle of the two heads. So we're gonna brush into that as well and get into these muscles here. Oh, yes. This is tender. Yeah, this is what will, because I was how close it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so all this, anything linked to the biceps, anything pulling in towards you will be tender. Your long head as well, just doing that, okay? It's just pain. Just give this arm here. See, it's more spongy as well. This is quite like more of a brick, especially down here. Yeah. So let's get started. So we're gonna oil them up. <laughs> it will go quite pink and red. So when we break it down, you'll see this might go more flat. Um, in the next few days as well. That is so dude. Just doing that, okay? Yeah. So you see how tender it is already? So if he does any bit of bench pressing, load in the wrist, this can slowly get beat up, okay? And then turn to a tennis elbow. Let's take this off. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you with it. No. Everyone's comment is saying how close you want to. I don't notice it. When you watch the videos back, you're like, it's behind you. <laughs> I literally you. kicked you in the face in the last one. <laughs> so watch his fingers, so we'll see they all move. Oh, so all that. these are his flex. Hang on, hang on. Just I'm not doing anything. What? Yeah? <laughs> can you switch them off? So if I, if I try and open my fist now. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright, see how fast you open when I let go. So we're starting into the forearm first. Yeah. So you go up. This, a lot of people get issues here. Look yeah, at that. That's, oh, that sucks at the top, dude. And sometimes you can feel tingles in your hand and your elbow from this. Ooh! There to today sucks. Issues. Okay, it's a soft tissue release now, so flex your wrist up and down for me. Oh, why, why I gotta join in? <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> he rips the shit out of me, but like... I I'm appreciate the guy, it. I'm the guy. <laughs> so we're gonna go into his tissue now. Here. Oh, so watch. Ooh, that's naughty. Ah. Ooh, that's weird. Oh my god, I can feel that from here 
All the way down into my yeah. index finger. So you're gonna do this? pronate your wrist. Oh. Come out. You see it affects all his pronate. See his bicep moves as well. Okay. Oh. Come around. Oh. And what you can do is stretch his wrist, which makes this a bit more open. And break it down a bit. I'm just holding your hand now. I'm just holding your <laughs> just holding your hand. That, yeah, Ooh. Oh, what was that? If you tense your wrist, see there, look. It's another muscle here. So we're gonna go in between it, watch. Oh there. Is that there? What do I? Ooh, Nancy. There you go. Come round oh. the back. Ah, that's where you get to this elbow, huh? Yep. And it can lead up to the tricep as well at the back. So we go around the back. This is muscle runs up here. So you massage down the tricep like this. Uh -huh. It can feel quite good. Bruh. <coughs> oh, that's worse. That way's worse. <laughs> yeah. That way's twice as bad. And we go up to here. We come round. And we go up and split the bicep in two. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this going to start? Yeah. So just flex up for me. So flex your wrist. So you see you can find his tendon there. And then relax. Now... You go in between. Mm. Hold it there. Bro! Okay. <sighs> and you lose mobility so we're coming in. Oh, it feels kind of sucky but nice. Yeah, it's good pain. <sighs> so now we're going to get into the bicep curl. So we split it up. So we get oh, oh bro, bro, that's, that's worse. We're in, now we're in. That's... So, now we're in. Dude! Bicep curl for me. Oh, you can get stuffed. Really? Yeah, try, try. Are you kidding? Yeah, try, try. Me. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh my God. Back down. Oh. And let me do a soft tissue release. Gonna oh. go, go up. And watch, go down. And you go open it up like that. <laughs> go again. And down. This will be tendon tomorrow. Oh. It's tender now. Now we're going to go into his long head watch, so... And then mobilise it. Oh! There. Bop. And you find his bop, bop, bop. So now we're right underneath the long head here. Oh, that's 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 bad. So we're right underneath it now. That's bad. And then watch. Now I do a hammer kill. Oh my god. Ooh. Go again. See that meat though, that's good. Yeah. There's nothing I like more on a Sunday than a... <laughs> man handling my meat. <laughs> Woo. How's my meat feel, Mitch? <laughs> nice and hard, how's, how's my meat feel in your hands? <laughs> Watch, this, this is a good one. Watch, you just pinch, lift up the bicep like this. Okay, now do a bicep curl. Ah! Uh, you, know, you see it all moving to my fingers, go again. Yeah. So do 10 reps for me. Right, why do we get tears, okay? So think about this. Your tendons take a lot longer to strengthen than your muscle, okay? So people who dabble in roids at a young age, their muscle blows up quite big and gets super strong. Oh. Think about it, so they're getting super, super strong, yeah? Okay, but the tendons ain't keeping up, like Lex just said. This can handle the load, but the tendon can't. Yo, that's a good point, actually, because in the video where I did the rehab, and show you the entire protocol, including dosages and everything, there were still morons in the comments who were just like, cool, so you went on gear. <laughs> Steroids make ligaments and tendons weaker due to up your lipid profiles. There you go. Not a good idea. Last thing you want to do if you've torn tendons or ligaments is a steroid. It's another reason why young guys should not be jumping on stuff, why you see somebody will just have some horrendous injuries where they're literally just snapping things left, right, and center. Yeah. Man got hurt. Boxing. Yeah. Freak. Explosive impact. So my tendons and ligaments are actually very strong and decent, but this was a real sharp, sudden. Yep. Bam, and gone, which is the same thing that can happen on a deadlift due to that sheer force yep. of weight suddenly being exerted on it. But if you were doing this, if this happened to you because you've taken steroids and this happens to you on a bicep curl and stuff like that, that's because your tendons are weak and you need to sort out your lipid profile, you need to sit, sort out your estrogen balance because a lot of people... Have you got a podcast in about, that? Uh, about that? Yeah, I think we've got an episode up somewhere to check out the crew cast with our TRT specialist doctor who we uh, deal with. And um, we also just did Mr. Lewis's blood work ah! and went through that because he started TRT. And we li literally look at his blood profile and how it's affected him and any red flags and what he needs to do if there yes. are any. But what, what Lex was saying earlier about like when he hit the bag and punched the bag, most tears are in sport, explosive movements, change in direction can cause a tear. And muscles that are super tight and immobile, okay, you're most likely to tear a muscle. Okay, this is why it's very important to get sports massage, mobility drills, and warm up correct. <sighs> I'm not gonna get inside. Sorry, the medial side. Oh, the little finger curling. Yeah. 
<laughs> Watch. So there, there's his epi condom off onto the tendon. Oops, slip. See that look there? There. See how, see how, see how bobbly it is? <laughs> there, so right now, watch this, watch this. Make a fist. And come back up. <sighs> make, make a fist. Blood so whilst I'm hand. clamping under here, we're <sighs> shearing. Break up loads of adhesions in this muscle here. <sighs> this muscle here gets beat up, especially in golfers. Oh. I can feel it all the way through into these. Ah. <sighs> this is thicker than this. You just show the camera. So this is a lot, see it's thicker than this one here. I measured both arms and this one was down a quarter of an inch yeah. compared to that one. So we get to here. And what we can do is go into this caracol process, which uh. goes up to here. Ooh. So watch this look, so we get right up into there. Now do a bicep curl and come up like this. Ah, okay. Because you've got two tendons that run off the top. Yes, yeah, so they right? will attach up into here as well. Okay, so any pain around here can be from your bicep. Shoulder pain can be bicep problem, which is exactly what happened on this one. Yes. I thought it was rotator oh, cuff yeah, for so yeah, many yeah, years, yeah, yeah. and it turned out it was bicep tendonitis. It healed the bicep, healed the shoulder. Ah, oh, that feels like a dead so arm. Is that gone down now? Like, or, or that's disappeared? Yeah, that's, yeah. See that? Brilliant. Yeah. So we opened up that shoulder and mm -hmm. everything as well as remember. Because you've got to remember, it's just tight here, it's all just pulled in, and the bicep comes in. We're trying to open it all up. Now do your bicep curl. Oh, why? <laughs> come down. Ah. Out. Come down. Bro. See it moves in my form. Yeah. In. Oh, dude. See it all moving. Go. Right. <sighs> Nice and relaxed oh, and, my... and breathe. Right, oh. now it's time for the gun. Ooh, that's weird. Good luck, Nick. <laughs> We're in the middle now. Oh, oh that sucked at the top. Oh. Oh, this is one of those sucky pains that's kind of nice, though. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. <laughs> what is that? That's bone. Have you hit bone? That's no, bone. Oh. That now, yeah, yeah, that hurts. Yeah, watch this can now. Ah, we're gonna go. <laughs> See that there? Whoa. It's nice and warm now. It's more spongy. This is uh, yeah. Look at that. It's like jello. Brilliant. Like that. Mm. I thought it was so much better now. Even that bit that sucked down at the bottom is yeah. not as half so, as bad now. Yeah. It's a good thing to do is massage your scar tissue and keep it moving. If you've got yeah. an injury and all the inflammation's gone down, keep it moving because you will get scar tissue that falls around this, and you will lose mobility around this area, and it, then it will be painful to move. Okay. Right. There's your tendon. There's the tendon. Look at that. <sighs> right. Let's do a bicep curl. Are you really? Yeah, slowly. Bro. That's so nerve wracking. Go back Ooh, down. Look at that. That's yeah. so weird. Go back down. Now we're moving to the bicep. See now we're on the bicep. Oh! That's what's so good. Go back down. <sighs> so watch me come around the outside, underneath. Christ. Go back down. <sighs> Boom. So you know. Ah. I'm a breather. Good, now move that around for me. Got a bit of floppy meat. Oh my god, it's like, honestly, it's like occlusion training. So just be careful if you get a scar tissue massage training afterwards, give it a good 24 hours. And another one, which we need to get into, which is very painful. So this one is around here as well, and you can get pain here. Yeah. So you go, we're gonna go through the tricep down into here. So this is gonna hurt. This is really good to relieve. It's what you do making me feel like I'm falling. For tennis elbow. Oh, dude. Ooh what do a lot of people do in the gym? Train arms and chest. So this here gets beat up. Oh, that's horrible. And what we need to do now is bicep kill or hammer kill. Bring it in. <laughs> we're gonna stretch this tricep out now, watch. What? Dude, this sucks. You can't move. Uh, Coming down. Flex, flex tricep. Yeah, and, and uh. good. So here, watch how many get that. 10 out of 10 pain. It's gonna be here. <clears throat> Oh, that burns. Yeah, watch me. There you go. Oh, oh, oh that. Ready? That hurts underneath the elbow yeah. here. See, there you go. That's what it looks. Yeah. You get pain here, 
So you come from the tricep as well. So all this can link together. So it's always good to you're gonna do the bicep and the forearm, get into the tri as well, because it all leads to the elbow. A lot of them insert right into the elbow and the epicondyles, okay? This is where he's got his knots. This is gonna hurt. We've done this before. Oh no. <laughs> what do you do when you say no? <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. So now we're gonna go into the medial side lock, right into here. Oh. <clears throat> Where's the fighter? Oh, I feel like mobbing around. That's it. <laughs> so many emotions. Tickle, pain. That is not bend. pleasant. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Bend. <laughs> bend. <laughs> You're like a horrible clown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, cool. Oh, I feel like it's ghost arm. Yeah, ghost arm. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you, you can permanently release uh, release it, but sometimes it builds back up over a good period of time, six months. Bro, before we started, we could do the hook test on here. We look for that tendon there. That's the hook test. Quite you can see. Those, yep. Bam! There's the tendon. Now, because of the thickness on this side, we couldn't do that at the beginning. So now. Ooh, you can so get under it. Now that. you can get under it. Yeah, the fascia's broke off. A bit so we as couldn't well. do that before. So we can get under it. Just to prove how stressful this is on the body. Look, that's why I brought another top. Sucks. That probably that probably bruise tomorrow. You know, it won't see it. Really, I'll just get even more colours in your tattoo. <laughs> My arm does feel still like a ghost arm, I'm not going to lie. But here's the after. So before, remember, we had some resistance in this one. Yeah. So now... Push. Push. No. So nothing in my wrist. That's a bit I can more just feel more. a lot of tender where you massage and yeah, split that muscle there. Normal, yeah. Cool. Oh, brilliant. Okay, now around. go off for me. Up. Okay. Mm, yeah, I feel strong. Yeah. So you see, it's, see, it's more contracted. Yeah, yeah, that felt yeah. like bang straight into so the bicep. This, this no is forearm. Why, yeah, this is why we do sports aside because it increases contractibility of the muscle so we can fire it quicker. You're going to flip over. Boom. See how that's, see my hand moves straight away, see how much stronger you are on that area. Yeah, that feels like. It's super oof, strong now. Yeah. Okay, you can, you can chest both now. It's tiny ones, are they similar or go? Oh, they feel equal. Yeah, there you go. See, they're a lot stronger now, which is pretty good. Okay, they're more contractible, they're more mobile. You can be doing a lot of this on a weekly basis to help yourself and then just go get that deep set tissue broken down mm -hmm. at Sports Masseuse. Okay, sir, we have right. mode, go. Brilliant, so um, to stretch these arms out, especially this bicep and the forearm, a good little one you can do yourself. Okay, so look, fingertips here. What you'll do first is put your palms down scoot up to him and then you're going to sit back like this okay i haven't got the best mobility in my wrist but you want to get these right back here so you can really stretch and you'll feel it come all the way down here and you can sit like this for a good two minutes you can move around as well so this is a nice really to stretch out this forearm here if you're getting pain here or here you can do a self massage so what you can do is squeeze and twist squeeze and twist and you're going to remobilize these muscles in here. If you're getting pain around here, press in and then hold the stretch. Okay? And then you can twist and flip around and sit here like this. And you can really stretch out the other side of the wrist. Brilliant to do. Good one to do is wrists like this. Move them around for your wrists. That's a brilliant one to mobilize your wrists and get them nice and warm. Another one is for the bicep as well. So you, this is a brilliant one to do up against a wall. So watch, arm out straight, fingertips first and then get your palm towards the door and then look, twist away and you'll feel this from your fingers come right down all the way up into the shoulder. You can hold this. Hold it for about 30 seconds and you'll feel a little bit of um, tingling going on which is completely fine. Up to two minutes. Again, you can do the self massage and twist for really opening up that chest and bicep forearm. Okay? Hello sir, why do you have what appears to be a giant family sized toilet roll for the biggest butt cheeks in the world <laughs> in your hand? So this is meant to be a 2kg dumbbell or 1kg. Use okay. your imagination folks at home. Remember, this is a 2 kilo weight and you should be doing this at home. Don't try to pick up poopy yeah, don't toilet paper. Okay. Don't steal Papa's toilet paper. Cool, so grab a 1 to 2 kilo dumbbell. You can get a bench for this one. So everyone's seen this one before and let it flex and then come up and you'll see this muscle start to move and you're going to completely burn out this muscle here 
really get the blood pumped to this area, okay? You can switch around as well and then lift it up and you'll start hitting this. So golfer's elbow lock, you can rehab here. Tennis elbow, come round and bring it up like this and you'll start hitting here. So the blood flow will help heal it because there's nutrients in blood which is gonna help heal this muscle. Again, another one to do is a pronation and supination. Give these a try and you'll feel this arm start to pump up big time. These are mainly for rehab exercises and strengthen the wrists. So you've got boom, boom, and then twisting round. Boom, boom, boom. Play it like a trumpet. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another successful entry into Let's Make Lex into Tenderized Meat mm -hmm. series. And it's gonna get better. Better's maybe the wrong choice of word. Better for you, more fun for him. Definitely, definitely worse for me. This would be interesting. Sir? Your weaponry. What the hell is this? I mean, are you expecting break-ins? Huh? What the heck? So if you want to know what you do with these, tune into the next episode. It looks so dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting more weird and weird, the series is. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. This is the pants, now it's these. <laughs> All the links are in the description for Mitch and myself. Thanks for joining. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you have any questions, Mitch will be in the comment section answering them uh, or coming around your house if you leave something nasty. Where can we dip this into? Don't cancel your sports massage, man. <laughs> like that.